Oh right, yeah, welcome back. Um, probably um, skipped a fair bit ahead um, since the last time um, I filmed. I'm not even sure what the last bit it was. Basically, what I've been doing is just yeah, doing the doing the um, rust repairs and all that sort of stuff. Uh, essentially, yeah, the under under side of the floor is done. I'm not sure if you saw that's primed and it's painted in um, sand edna. Um, the floor is painted. I bare metal the dash. It's it's in epoxy primer. I bam out all the pillars inside, all the roof, it's all um it's all primed like I did all the rush repairs up the top there. Um yeah the roofs the roof's in primer, uh, the rockers are in primer, still got a little bit of rush repair to do on the rocker there and the bottom of the cabs have got to be done. Uh, cab corners rather. Um but yeah what I needed to do was put the uh cab back on the chassis because uh, what I need to do before I strip the chassis and paint it um, is I want to put the inner guards back in and what I'm going to be doing is essentially instead of the inner guards um, following that and finishing down there uh, what I want the inner guards to do is to stop here and actually follow the contour of the holding chassis there so essentially yeah look like standard uh, international inner guard until about here and i'll sort of blend it to, to suit looks like it's factory but it'll actually follow the holding chassis around so when you stick your head in here instead of seeing the holding chassis in the mounting system it'll actually sneak around here and cover that up so it won't look as um it'll, it'll give it more factory look is what i'm trying to say so yeah um like i said i probably skipped a fair bit ahead of what, what you last saw it um but yeah, it's just boring stuff anyway, just rust repairs and paint and stuff. So back into it now. Um, yeah, I'll get them inner guards sorted out. Um, they're just drying over there, just going to them off. Um, but yeah, it's got the seat sitting back in it. Um, just got the um, low car shifter sitting there, working out where I want it. Uh, and I've got the seats in there to set up the shifter and I've got to drill the uh, hole for the seat anchors, seat belt anchors rather. Um, so I need to do a few things before I take the cab back off the chassis. So yeah, I'll, I'll get into these inner guards anyway, and we'll um, yeah, I'll show you what I got worked out. Oh yeah, so yeah, I got that uh, inner guard sat back in there uh, with a couple of bolts in it. I just sort of um, got a bit of cardboard, made a little bit of a template um, up in there, sort of roughly what I'm sort of working with. Um, so yeah, it's sort of good enough for now. Uh, what I'm thinking is, yeah, I'll take that out and um, yeah, probably cut out the sheet metal. Um, what I'm thinking is that, I just noticed down here, I'm sort of not liking the look of that, uh, how it's not um, following the cab down there anymore. So what I might end up doing is actually, essentially, yeah, rebuilding, because this piece was actually broken off. I didn't actually cut it off, I might. Um, rebuild that inner guard so it follows the cab as well as making that uh, spat down there so um, yeah probably probably um, go with that theory for now so yeah I'll um, take that cardboard template out and um, yeah cut some steel out and make that guard up oh yeah so I went ahead and, and um, yeah finished off these inner guards I sort of changed my original design uh, what I was planning on was actually making these inner guards follow this chassis around like that um decided against it uh because i didn't like the way it looked from up top so yeah got both the inner guards repaired um cut the holes out around for the barrier support mount bolts there i may or may not have to trim a bit more of that uh, front of the inner guard there uh once i put the front sheet metal back on i'll know what i've got to do there so yeah there's the other side um repair done so now I'm going to go ahead and make um, what I'm actually going to do is make some spats essentially that uh, cover this area up here because um, it just you can see you can see basically all through the wheel well uh, when the, um, the trucks together with the guards that on you can see all this and um, really catches your eye so I don't want that to be the case so yeah, I'm going to make little sheet metal spats that sort of yeah cover all this up and it'll be painted with sand and then you won't paying attention to it won't catch all which is what I'm chasing so gonna go ahead and make those spats and then probably after that I might look at making the seatbelt anchors um, and move on to the the shifter so yeah any guards done um, welded up all the unnecessary holes sanded them down 
Um, so they're pretty well done for now until I um, yeah, sand them right back to bare metal and prime them. Uh, that doesn't need to happen now, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna move on to these spats and yeah, see belt anchors. So I'll get into it, eh? Oh yeah, so I've jumped forward a bit here. Um, didn't end up filming um, <clears throat> some of the stuff I did, but I ended up making the um, uh, little templates here. Um, that cover the chassis rails. Um, like I was saying um, before about, yeah, these um, little covers here, they go on there. So when you look through the, in, uh, from the outside into the chassis rail area there, you can't see it, it covers it up. So yeah, I've made them one each for the left and the right. Um, just get ready. getting ready now to take the cab back off. Um, final trim the um, any guards there, just got to clean them up. I've clearanced everything that needs to be clearanced in here. So just doing all the bits that I need so I can take the cab back off and finish the rust repairs. Um, like I said, jump forward a bit, went ahead and um, mounted the fuel tank. Um, yeah, it's all set up, ready to go. Obviously just got to touch it up a little bit, but the, the basic structures there, it's all mounted, not going anywhere. Just got to put um, the insulation rubber in there when I mount it for good. But yeah, fuel tanks mounted, you know, in a guard spats are made. Not sure if um, the seat belt anchors are done. Not sure if I already showed you that. Um, yeah, shifters mounted, linkage is in, it's all sorted. Um, yeah, looking really good, getting a fair bit of work done. Oh, yeah, the handbrake, handbrake cables, um, the brackets made. So, yeah, that, those cables are, um, Clipped into there, tooked up to the um, to the lever inside. That's all done. This is off the um, uh, FG or BA, whatever it is. Um, Falcon just rebent that. I just got to cut the muffler, rubber lug off, um, repurpose that, and when I'm yeah, when she's done, I'll just zippy tie them together a bit nicer. But yeah, handbrake works. Um, so yeah, like I said, going to um, undo the cab mount bolts lift that cab back off I've got this dolly here um, this is what I actually used to make the tub for jigsaw so yeah gonna put the cab on that dolly go ahead and rebuild the bottom the cab corners left and the right and um, yeah the strip across the back of the cab get those rust repairs done and then whilst the cabs off I'm gonna go ahead and strip the chassis back to bare metal and yeah epoxy prime it and paint it uh gloss black two pack i've got all the suspension bits there to um to rebuild it so yeah that'll be the next sort of series of work is yeah lift the cab off rush repairs and then rebuild the chassis um then final coat underneath the cab floor with um sound deadener body deadener what do you want to call it um, yeah, smooth out and paint those chassis rail adapters, bolt them to the cab, and then bolt, bolt it back down on the painted chassis, and that should be the last time it has to come off. So that's the priority is, yeah, get, get the rust done, chassis rail adapters, smooth, painted, bolted, um, sound edited the bottom of the cab for the final time, bolt the chassis rail adapters back up, rebuild the chassis, get it painted, bolt the cab back on, and everything can start going on for the final time. Um, and yeah, once the cab's back on, do the um, the bodywork to it, and yeah, get the paint done. Obviously, majority of the outside paint is staying as is. Just have to touch up where we've done rush repairs, and obviously, yeah, the roof's getting painted white, and the interior will be getting green. The dash will be white, um, and everything else. But yeah, that's that's the plan for now. So, gonna get in and um, yeah, get this cab off and get stuck in it. Alrighty. Oh yeah, this is where I'm up to. I got started on the um, 
the rust repairs here. Um, I've got the um, the inner structure is all repaired. I've got um, Power 15 on that, so it's all it's all cured, ready to go. And I started on the um, these little creases here, these recesses. I start on them; they're all done. So I'm going to build between those, fill them in, and button it up along the bottom. Once that's done, I'll move on to the um, cab corners then. So yeah, I'll get into it. Oh yeah, so I got the rear section uh, of the cab there done, all that rust repair is done, welded up, um, ground down. Gone ahead and um, yeah, rebuilt that um, right hand rear cab corner. Um, yes, yeah, so that's all welded out, um, pretty much good to go. Um, so now I've just got to move on to the left hand rear cab corner, get that buttoned up. <coughs> Once that's done, there's only a couple of little um, spots left to do, like the front of the front of the rocker here um, on the left side and there's a bit in the yeah in the middle here of this rocker as well and a little bit on the front so yeah um, so I'll probably start on that um, yeah that cab corner get that rebuilt do them other bits um, yeah then we'll look at touching up like putting primer on the bare metal and um, yeah probably look at towards um, yeah, getting into that chassis, so alright, right, we'll get into it. Alright, yeah, got that left hand um, cab corner filled out, all done. Um, ground down, smoothed out. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's all buttoned up, which is good. Uh, moved on to the rocker on uh, the right hand side here. And, uh, yeah, cutting that whole sort of dodgy section out. Um, yeah, rebuilt that, got that all buttoned up. Um, filled in the um, weather fuel filler used to go on the side of the cab there. Uh, I haven't ground these down yet, but yeah, that's where that fuel filler net comes through the cab there. So I've got to, yeah, grind them down. Um, but that's all buttoned up. Went ahead and welded the mounts for the tray on the chassis. Um, yeah, just button them up there. So now, um, yeah, I'll probably finish up for the day, I'd say. But yeah, tomorrow gonna get a start. Gonna strip that chassis and start, yeah bare metal in it, um, getting it ready to go and prime and that. Um, <clears throat> got a bit of work ahead of me obviously. Uh, I've got to smooth out all these little, these dags that hold holding these on from the factory, all these welding dags and that, so um, yeah, been, there's a fair bit in them, but um, yeah, it'll look good once it's done, so. Right, yeah, um, yeah, we'll just leave it there for today. Catch you tomorrow. Alrighty, yeah, so I went ahead, I cleaned these, um, the body, the chassis rail adapters up, whatever you want to call them. I uh, got them, yeah, painted in the epoxy, so they're just curing there now. Uh, what I've been playing with is, um, yeah, getting the underside, underside of the cab there, um, yeah, finished up, cleaned up, ready to, um, yeah, finish off the sand deadening underneath. Get that all buttoned up, and then when I'm ready, yeah, um, put some primer on these bare metal spots. Um, and then once that's all done, everything's cured, um, yeah, I'll paint these rails and then get the cab 
uh, back on the hoist here, lift it up, <clears throat> get that, yeah, get that touched up, and then get these rails bolted up on the, under the cab, get them out of the road, and then I can start, yeah, my chassis disassembly and get it, um, get it bare metal primed and painted. So yeah, that's where I'm up to, and get into it. Right, yeah, so the primer's dried off. I've got a few runs on it, so it's got the orbital there. I'm gonna give it a quick sand. Um, also, I've got uh, underneath the cab here, prepped up, ready to go. Um, as you can see, on the sides there, and obviously the bits of the rear here, I haven't um, hit it with sand in yet, but it's prepped, ready to go now. I'll just give it a quick sand. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm gonna hit the sideboards there, rear of the cars where I fixed up. Um, the car mounts where I couldn't get to before because it was mounted to the rotisserie. So yeah, gonna give that all a hit with the um, underbody sand in there and give them rails a hit for the same, I think. Um, the chassis will be lost black, but yeah, I'll just do those rails with the sand in it to match in with the floor. So yeah, gonna get those um, rails sanded up, give this a bit of a scuff up and um, yeah, hit it with sand in there. So I got them all um, sprayed up, just touched up those inner um, fender wells there, got all the floor, um, yeah it's all covered now, it's probably got like three or four coats on it, so yeah, should quieten down the cab a fair bit, um, push the chassis over the other side of the shed there, um, yeah tomorrow hopefully they'll be dry enough, I'll bolt those rails up underneath the cab, and then yeah, bit of luck I'll get stuck into this chassis. Um, strip everything out of it, strip all the suspension off, and yeah, start getting it bare metal. Um, smooth all the bags out, clean everything up that needs to, and yeah, get it bare metal ready for primer. So yeah, that'll be tomorrow's job. So yeah, we'll shut her off here for the night. Alrighty, yeah. so yeah, it's next morning. Um, let these cure overnight. Really happy with how they've turned out. Um, so yeah, gonna go ahead and bolt these to the underside of the cab. And then probably yeah, sit it back down on this um, on this dolly for now, I think. And then yeah, put it back over that side. Probably swap the chassis back over this side, and um, yeah, get all the suspension um, disassembled out of it, and yeah, start the process of bare metaling it, and um, yeah, smoothing out the welds, and yeah, 
pretty enough. So yeah, just gonna get into yeah, bolting these um, chassis rail adapters up. Rightio, so we got the cab and the chassis swapped around. Like I said, those um, chassis rail adapters are bolted up. Um, this is just sitting on the dolly there now. So yeah, they don't have to come back here. They can live there now. Um, gonna go ahead and pull the leaf springs and the diff out of the chassis and the fuel tank. Um, and then yeah, lift it up, disassemble the front suspension, and yeah, get into get stuck into bare metal and I'll get into it. Alright guys, so I decided to shut this video off here. I'm gonna leave all the chassis stripping and rebuilding uh, for a video of its own. So yeah, gonna shut it off here. Um, thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, just hit the like if you haven't already, subscribe. And yeah, again, thanks for watching, eh? I'll catch you on the next one.